Have you ever wondered what YouTubers make? Like, not the 1% big YouTubers that's making millions upon millions of dollars, but the average normal YouTubers, or not average, let's say the smaller YouTubers. For example, myself. I recently just got my first YouTube check, and I'm about to share with you how much I've made for getting about 90k views in one month. Like, literally, I'm happy, but the number will surprise you. Also, I wanted to say that not all YouTubers make the same amount. Even if two individual YouTubers have the same amount of views and everything, they can make two separate amount. It's crazy, but that's how YouTube works. So my YouTube journey started, I don't even know when, but I've had a YouTube channel for a long time, but I really started taking my YouTube channel a little bit more seriously back in like 2021, 20, you know? I was bored. You had the pandemic. I I literally had nothing else to do. I was in, what, North Dakota, probably one of the boringest states. Hey, you didn't hear it from me, but North Dakota is boring, it's cold, it's, yeah, I had a wild experience. So I started making more videos on, like, Doc Martens because I made this one video on Doc Martin and it, like, it went to the moon. I was like... <laughs> I was like, what? I like Doc Martens. So I just started making more Doc Martens content and slowly but surely it got traction. And I just decided to make more Doc Martens content. Around the middle of 2022, I finally got monetized. So that means I had over 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. I felt like the hardest thing was getting the 1,000 subscribers because the 4,000 watch hours I got it from my Doc Martin videos, but for some reason, I don't know, people didn't want to subscribe. But I felt like at the time my videos weren't as good. I wasn't posting as consistency or as consistent as I should have been. I was very busy. I moved from North Dakota all the way to Maryland. I was closer to family. That means they wanted to see me more because I was gone for a long time. I had a girlfriend like jam pack. I had a full-time job. Like, adulting ain't easy. So I was struggling trying to make some more YouTube videos, like trying to come up with topics and things like that. I'm a creative guy. Like currently, I have a job where I do graphic design and also I video edit. So those two things are right up the alley when it comes to YouTube. But I felt like one of the hard things about YouTube is like, picking a niche, and then just going with it. So around the fall of 2022, me and my girlfriend decided mutually to, you know, separate, you know. I just felt like I couldn't get a lot done, and it wasn't the right time for me, you know, to be in a relationship. I wanted to do a lot of things, but things were just not working out. So after that happened, I had just more free time to do exactly what I wanted to do without no questions asked. It was like, I'm going to do what I want to do whenever I want to do it. So one of the things I wanted to do was make more videos, you know? So I decided to take my channel just a little bit more seriously. Around November of 2022, I decided to post multiple times a week. I was just testing out the algorithm. I just wanted to know what would happen if I did more with YouTube. The month of November, I was posting as much as I can. I started seeing an uptick. And one of my biggest challenges when it comes to YouTube is creating YouTube videos. Like, I have no problem editing. I have no problem doing all the back-end work. But for me, starting up was the hard part. Like, trying to figure out the next video idea. And then from the start, I felt like I niched down too much. Doc Martens, they do have a big fan base and a big Doc Martin culture, but I've noticed like talking about Doc Martin all the time, it gets daunting. Like I've made so many videos about Doc Martens that how can I make another video with it being more entertaining, with it being just as good as my last one, you know? And I eventually struggled with that. But when it came to December, I decided to amp it up. I wanted to post five times a week, and I don't know how I was going to post these, but I was going to make it happen one way or another, somehow, some way. If there's a will, there's a way. And yeah, that meant 
I was staying up late at night. If you see some of my videos, even till now, I'm recording this after midnight. So I'm just used to being up later trying to post all these videos, just trying to keep up with my word, you know? It wasn't easy, but I knew the more effort, the more things that I did, I was going to figure things out. That was my big thing. My goal was not how many views I was getting each video. Was My goal was to make sure that each video was getting better. More people were liking it, you know? People were noticing me because I knew if I put it out into the algorithm, it's going to do its job. And for me, one thing that I did notice, like, I'm not like one of those other YouTubers that's like, hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. Oh, my gosh. Like, I'm a very monotone, chill guy. And, yeah, I'm not going to try to act like somebody that I'm not. I mean, I try to use my advantages. For example, I can edit. I can do everything by myself. Like, the lighting that you're seeing right now. I learn how to light and everything, so everything does look good, but it's not an easy process. So in December, I don't know how many subscribers I started with, but I wanted to end the year in a bang. I wanted to make sure I got 1.5K subscribers. And unfortunately, I did not hit that mark. I missed it by like less than 10. Literally New Year's Day, I got 1.5K and I was happy. So the next month, it was just post as much as I can and see what happens. What is my audience literally, what do they like, what don't they like? Because I felt like I was giving them as much Doc Martin content as I can possibly make. Like literally five videos a week, meaning that three of the videos were like long form content while two of them were more short form content like the shorts. Now... The month of January, I felt like I could knock out shorts all day. Like, I figured out the system of, like, oh, more people like my, it's not, I won't even call it a documentary. It's, like, 15 to 30 seconds, but they like videos about Doc Martens. That's besides just me showing the shoes, you know? Like, if I tell them, oh, my last shorts was about what was the third Doc Martens ever made? Because we all know the 1460s. We know the 1461s, but... They never talk about which one they made after that. So it's like a mystery. You know, some people like to chime in. Oh, I think it's this. I think it's that. But yeah, I felt like that was a great idea. And I'm just rolling with the punches, you know. And when it comes to my long form videos, that one, literally, I feel like all the videos that I did try on, they flopped. Like, I don't know what happened, but. I felt like they didn't do as good as they should have. And then the videos that I did not try on, for example, the month of January, I posted a video at the end of December. And that video, I didn't care that much for it. And guess what? That video got 20K views in one month. Like, that video was literally the driving force to everything. And I've been trying to make lightning strike twice. And lightning's been dodging me, <laughs> like literally. So the part that most of you guys are here for, so about having 1.7K subscribers and over 90K views in one month, or I didn't get all those subscribers in one month, but 90K views in one month, it's about, I think, 93, 94K views. But with all of that said, guess how much YouTube pay me? Drum roll, please. Da -da -dum -da -dum. $120. Yes. So literally for that month, 90K views, I got $120. Like for posting what, 20 videos that month? Yeah, it's not easy, but that's what it is. I mean, I won't say I'm upset. It's more like my efforts there. I accomplished something that I won't say I didn't think I couldn't do it. I knew I could do it. It was more like when. Also, one thing that I did learn is that um, YouTube will pay you for all the months that you were monetized, but you didn't make $100 plus. So in total, I got $400. Now I have to figure out how to pay taxes on that. And then whatever I got to myself, I have to figure out... Um, how to use that on making some more content. 
I actually just purchased the Solo Vare. So I'm trying to do a comparison between Doc Martens and Solo Vare. And literally, they're like two close companies. Basically, they were together at one point and then they separated and blah, blah, blah. So I'm doing the research and all of that. I want to compare the two boosts just to see which one's better because you do have in the fan base some people like Doc Martens, some people like the other side. I mean, for me, I like Doc Martens, but I'm not one of those people. Like, nobody's paying me to talk about Doc Martens. So it's not like I have to be faithful to anybody. If another side is good, I'll say it, you know? And I think people do enjoy that, that they're getting more of a, I don't want to say human perspective, but I'm not like a boots guru. You know, like some people, they know all thing boots, all thing leather, but when it comes to like the individuals watching it, I mean, I do kind of see myself in the niche. Like, um, I don't want to say one of you, but some people, they don't know that much about boots and they have the same perspective as me. Like, oh, is this leather good? Like nobody's looking at it like, wow, this is a very thick leather. It's very nicely grained. Like not everyone's looking at it like that. So now it's more about the future, you know? One thing that I do want to say, thank everyone for watching my video, subscribing, the community that I've built, because it wasn't easy, but now there's like some returning viewers that I know, hey, what's up? I replied to like mostly all of the comments, mainly just anything. If negative ones come through, I mean, I give my opinion, they give their opinion, and I'm okay with disagreeing. Like, I don't have to be right about everything. That That's the good thing about YouTube. It's like, I've met people from, or on the internet, from the UK. Some people, you can tell, like, they're from other countries. Like, just the knowledge that's being spread, I mean, I like it, you know? I feel like I've met a lot of people. I've helped out a lot of people. And, you know, the ones that really touch me are those that just thank me. Oh, thank you for making this video. I really appreciate it. Like, I think about that whenever... I'm tired and I don't feel like making that video or like, uh, like right now how I'm doing this video right now and I should be in bed, but I just want to knock it out, you know? So some of the things that I'll be doing in the future that I've thought about is I'll probably be slowing down just a little bit. I don't think making five videos a week is productive for myself. And, um, also I'm trying to figure out how to make my content more, nice or a little bit better like I've been trying so hard to extend the content because I think in December I was just posting like three four minute videos because I was struggling trying to find topics and then when I did I could only talk so much about it but now I've done it so much that I feel like I have different ways to talk more about certain topics and I do want to advance my content just a little bit for example I want to be doing more like video essays which I can just talk about like the one that I'm working on right now is like the evolution of Doc Martens. So basically, how has the company been successful in these past, what, 60 plus years, you know, which is not easy to do. But just talk about like every decade, how Doc Martens have um, evolved, you know, because at one point they almost went down, but they're still good. And then also, since I got the solo there, I'm going to do like a video essay on like what really happened because you do hear about these two boots they're very similar they damn near look the same but it's just two different companies so do some research to talk about that and yeah you know and then I like how I'm always uh, using my community tab people are always voting they're always doing things so I do get feedback from them but yeah, for the future of the channel, since I am a small channel, I would like to, um, I won't say take a step back or branch out just a little bit more. I feel like the Doc Martin niche is like very small and I've done as much as I could. Like I made some evergreen content, meaning that, for example, in December, when it starts to snow, people are going to look for snow content for doc martens i have all of that like during december videos that i made like a year ago was 
picking up again. And then when it comes, like I've made content that I know if I stop now, it's still going to grow in the future. But I do want to continue and branch out just a little bit, do some more like video essays or even talk about, I won't say different brands, but just compare different shoes, different brands, or even like men's fashion, or even like I thought about learning how to sew. It's something that I actually been wanting to do for a while. So maybe, I don't know where I'm going to find the time, but um, if I can learn how to sew, knit, or just, you know, make my own stuff. I, I like being creative. I like to take something from scratch and make it my own. Like, yeah, that's just me. Like, let me take something and make it my own and yeah, present it to the world. Even if it's ugly, it's like, but I made it. You understand? So I'm thinking about doing that or even um, experimenting with the channel. Like some people, if you like this setup, like I can show you how I got that that wall over there that is red. It's actually green. It's just the lights that I got back there. My, my main light right here. And then I got um, my backlight, if you can see right there. So, yeah, if you want, I can show you how to light up stuff, how to get stuff on a budget. I mean, yeah, my channel is still small, so I don't know. I can do, like, separate it, like, during the week. I can do one Doc Martin video, maybe a video essay, and then, like, I don't want to say, like, YouTube's tips because I'm going to run out of them. Because, I mean, I feel like I can show individuals, like, for example, I've noticed, like, there's not really, when I was trying to find out how to make shoe videos, there's not really like a video about that. And I'm like, oh, that's an opportunity to show how to make shoe videos. And I'll just show individuals how to do it with their phone. And then once you get a camera, it makes it easier because I know everyone has a phone and some people do want to make or be like shoe YouTubers to make shoe reviews and all of that good stuff. So yeah, I've thought about making like some tutorials, but yeah, I don't know. Let me know if you guys are supporters of the channel, comment down below. And I just want to say thank everyone that watched my videos even once, even what is it? 30 seconds or whatever it is, anything. If you subscribe to the channel, thank you very much. And um, yeah. Thanks for listening to my TED Talk. What do you want to see on this channel? Let me know in the comments below. What do you think about this setup? Like, I actually enjoy having this mic, literally, because the other videos that I shoot without the mic, I literally just feel restricted because the mic is like up here and I can't move around and things like that. I feel like I have to be here and it's like, welcome to my video. And today we're going to be talking about X, Y, and Z. You know, but now I'm like, hey, welcome, fam. Big man tings in it, yeah? Woo woo. Ha ha. You know? <laughs>